explain something to y'all. I messed up on the whole thing anyway off the beginning. I ain't really supposed to be wearing my hat while the word is going, so I'm going to take that off. I'm not other world, so I'm my own people, so I can look like this and keep my shit going, you see what I'm saying? But I got to respect that and take that off. It's your boy, M.I.A. Yogi, man, you know, sitting here, man, sitting here thinking and shit, can't call some news that I wanted to share with everybody, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is, you know, some people might take it in, some people won't, but I gotta do it, cause I heard it, so I'ma spread it with y'all, you know what I'm saying, like I say, man, y'all hit the like button, y'all subscribe, y'all understand what I'm putting out there, man, you know what I'm saying, y'all go ahead and share it with other people, and I'ma leave a description below, and they're going to let y'all know what sites y'all get y'all teaching from. Not teaching, but understanding, you know what I'm saying? So you can have freedom in this world as a as a nation, not people as a race. None of that, man. I know because none of that really counts in the eyes of God. So I know this different and stuff like that, but I ain't no teacher, you know what I'm saying? So the things I just, I'm learning and I'm trying to get an understanding of. But one thing I know for sure, boy, who I am, you know what I'm saying? That's what's making me free. So I'm trying to, I'm... try to get that to y'all too man like i say it's coming out of the out of the channel i bumped heads too you know what i'm saying so and i want y'all to just bump heads with it too you feel me man i keep on twisting my damn hat the wrong way i ain't worrying about no damn hat anyway i'm gonna so i just want y'all to just walk through this with me listen to it with me you know what i'm saying there's a listening list thing so you know i'll be pausing the hand uh whatever whatever and you know, y'all just leave your comments on what y'all thoughts of what is what is what is going through. You know what I'm saying? What's letting you know? So, for for the moment, I'm just gonna let y'all go ahead and get it to it. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, hit that like button, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I will be back out here with more GTA and stuff. It's just right now things are a little slow with the weather going, how it's going. So I had I had to back off a little bit, you know. And I explain that more. You know that easy here or there, cause this uh, this whole different video. So I want y'all to like catch on to what i'm hearing and see if y'all can hear the same thing and like i say where i'm getting it from i'll leave it in the description in below so yeah you know everything is everything so i ain't gonna hold y'all no more let's go get started what's the nationality according to this bible african-american you know that's two one's a continent one this country right here that's two white men you know, according to this Bible, this is what the Understand, like I said before I start, I ain't putting out no racism or nothing. Everything that's going to be said and going to be done, it's going to be done out the Bible. So these quotes, these, these, these out the Bible, you know what I'm saying? These scriptures, so you know what I'm saying? going to give y'all an understanding of what's what I'm talking about. So y'all just stay with me right now, bear with me, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm going to do this here and there, you know, give my little thought of it too, you know what I'm saying? But make sure y'all take heed on what you're hearing call you. This is what the world call you. This is what God calls you here to this Bible. That's right. Your father was a Ameri uh, African American brought over here on the slave ships. Your forefathers. Don't you know all that is recorded? See right then y'all already understand where I'm going at with this. So you know what I'm saying? Like I say, thing get deep and it gonna get deeper. If y'all hit that like button, y'all subscribe, y'all wanna get more information and stuff like that, I'm gonna keep dropping this if y'all keep doing what y'all do, you know what I'm saying? In this Bible, this is how you know who your history is. This is your history book. Bring it up. Hey, don't you know this man right here? You came back with something that's against this Bible, man. You sat right up here and listened to it. Give me do around the 73. Bring you're not up. supposed to be with your enemy. That's the court to the Bible. That ain't my words. And like I say, y'all don't listen to how his precept is of the, uh, what he's saying. Just take the, take in the verses that he's saying out of the Bible, you know what I'm saying? And then you'll get the understanding of what I'm trying to show y'all, you know what I'm saying? This ain't nothing no trying to change nobody, do none of that, none of this, none of that. If you is who you is, you by race, you don't want to understand who you is, you know, you know what you could do. Keep listening and, and, and make a mockery of it, or you can understand what's going on. But y'all going to see, I'm going to make this change and be who I am because I know who I am now. So that, let's keep going. Then you got pride on her. Oh, I got me a white woman. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what the Bible calls her. It said you got, what's your nationality? You got an Edomite. 
a so-called white man? See, an Edomite. The Bible called him your enemy. Yeah. Actually, the Bible called her a dog. A root, root. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 3. Jesus. Come back to Deuteronomy. Chapter 7, verse 3. Neither shall they make marriages with them. Like I say, this is in the Bible, you know what I'm saying? The Bible that they so-called say is for everybody and all that good stuff. And I'm finna, like, like I say, I'm finna help y'all understand what the Bible saying. I ain't gonna help y'all understand. I'm gonna help y'all. Y'all gonna get to understand it just like I'm getting to understand it. So we're gonna get to understand it together, you know what I'm saying? But it is my, my, my take on what I'm listening to, you know? So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be commentary a little bit here and there, but it ain't gonna be that much. Let me let y'all finish listen. Like I say, don't listen to the man precept. Listen to the words out of the Bible, you know what I'm saying? You'll know the difference when it's out of the Bible and it's his precept. Because the, they'll be screaming loud when they say it out of the Bible. And he'll say, he'll, say, he'll say the verse and everything to it. So you'll you'll know the difference. And I'm going to try to put it in the, um, this, you know what I'm saying, and on the screen when when, it, when it's coming out. So just I'm going to help y'all a lot. It is doing thy sins. He said we shouldn't make marriages. We, we shouldn't even give our daughters nor our sons to the, to the enemy. Yes, now, come back here. Let me show you something. According to this Bible. Give me Deuteronomy uh, 28 and 6. I mean 68. How do we get over here as, as a nation? How do we come to America? And before, like I say, as y'all keep on hearing me talk, as I'm talking, man, y'all y'all answer that question to yourself. Y'all sit there and think about that. And y'all bet y'all ain't never knew that was in the Bible, huh? <laughs> it's a lot what I'm finna bring out to y'all, man. On slave ships, don't you know that's in this Bible? All of that. Why do you think that happened to us? Exactly. Let's read that. Get that out the Bible, because a lot of people don't believe that. A lot of people don't go in there. The church don't tell you this at church. They won't preach this. But we're here to tell you the truth about us. The truth about who the people. And the thing is, reading, I gotta take that the truth into heart. I'm 40 years old. You feel me? And I ain't, and I know I grew up in the church, and I ain't never heard none of this stuff, you feel me? Because they never was, they never was supposed to teach us our, our nationality, you feel me? The Native Americans, the 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 the, the Hispanics, and the, you know my people that look like me, you know who you is. So I ain't got to explain that to y'all, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Blow up this Bible. That's right. Read. Hey. Sorry about that. Look at Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. He said the Lord going to bring us into Egypt again with again ships. Again with ships. Egypt means a certain thing because Egypt, actually, the real name is Mizraim. That was later changed. That was the name we gave to him as a Hebrew people because it was something that we was going through while we were there, which was in slavery and bondage. And we'll give you the precept on that. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord, thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Egypt means bondage. What's another name for bondage? Slavery. Slavery. So when you go back and read that, now you can put that in there, because we know the definition of what he was talking about when he said Egypt. Now read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into slavery again with ships. The Lord. Now the thing about that, the reason I'm gonna get my precept on that, cause I want y'all to get the understanding of what I'm saying and what I'm what I'm letting y'all hear and what I'm trying to enlighten y'all on. You see what I'm saying? Ain't no other race was so-called race was under slavery. I rem always remember that, and it's coming out of the Bible, out of, out of King James Test, the Bible, the original Bible. It coming out of the Bible. So I ain't telling y'all nothing. He ain't telling y'all nothing. He just getting y'all precepts, just as I'm doing, I'm getting y'all a precept of what I hear. So. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Don't bring us into slavery again with ships. Give me 46, 28, 46. Because this is one of those curses that was upon us. You call yourself African American, but the most high got a identifier in the Bible to tell you who you're really, who you what's your nationality, what's your real heritage of your people. Mm, your nationality, your heritage. Because he knew we was going to be discontinued, which is one of the curses, yeah. from who we were. So he left a sign up on the earth that's going to let us know when we come out of our sleep. Right now, you're coming out of sleep. You're going to wake up today. That's right. Today. And you're going to know who you are according to this Bible. I understand. Look, I don't know if y'all ever even paid attention to these sites and whatever, whatnot. 
But I'm gonna bring them to y'all, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's it, it gonna be my duty to, to to get enlight y'all the same way I'm getting enlightened. So, cause this son's special to all of 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 my people, you know what I'm saying? And we gonna we gonna tap on that who the tri twelve tries triple um tries is, you know what I'm saying? But we ain't right now. We can't do that right now. We gonna go on this right here to give y'all a little taste of what's going on. You feel me? Not according to what these people call you on this planet. You are not African American. You are Israelite from the tribe of Judah. What? So when they ask you your nationality, you stand up with your head up high ah. and let them know what? I am an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Huh, not see, of God's chosen people. It's not. Right. See now, right there, you know. That, 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 that right there should have touched you already and opened your eyes and, like, had you on some other level type stuff right then. You see what I'm saying? Now, if he reading that out the Bible and that's coming out the Bible, how could you go wrong with that? If all if all supposed to be everybody go by the Bible and he just explained to you why everybody ain't going to be saved by the Bible. You understand? Not all racist. It ain't no such thing as racist. Ain't no, that's, that's that white supremacist stuff. That's what that is, you know what I'm saying? That's what they taught us. So understand what I'm telling y'all. Everything, everything that's coming out to y'all, that's coming out from out of the Bible, from somebody else's mouth who knows what they're saying and know what they how to explain it. Cause I don't know how to do it. I'm learning, you know what I'm saying? I'm, it's new to me, just like it's new to y'all. So, but like I say, y'all, we gonna have to wake up, man. That's the only way we could be free. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 46, and they shall be upon thee for a sign. And for a wonder. He said they're going to be upon us for a sign and for a wonder. So we can wonder why. Wonder who we are. Wonder what happened to us. Wonder why do we get on those slave ships. Wonder why we at the bottom. He said it's going to be for a sign. A sign is like I told him. It was a, it's an identifier. Identify this is how you. we got to know. Because he know he was going to put us to sleep. He know in them slavery. That's why they stripped up us our clothes. So we gonna, all this was according to the most high. He did it to us. He did. But he had a certain enemy that did it to us. Yeah. Finish reading that. <laughs> By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. He said we yeah, ain't going to see it no more again. What is he talking about? What have we not seen? Our home Our place. homeland. That's right. Our homeland. See, they, they tell us Africa. They say what? It's Africa. Mm -hmm. But according to this Bible, that's not our homeland. Let's see exactly. Let's see what God tells us our homeland is. Read. The book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. He said Jerusalem, which is above, is free. That's the nation he chose. Read. Mm -hmm. Which is the mother of us all. Which, the is, the what even which is the mother of us all. Now, y'all just heard that out of the Bible. So, but as us, as a black Americans, African American, whatever they want to call us, quote unquote, the crackers gave us, or name the white people gave us, you know what I'm saying? It didn't say that. Why it didn't say what they said? Hmm? Just come on, man. They ain't telling us everything because it ain't, it, we ain't no god dog on African Americans. That's two, that's two white people names if you don't know that. And he's he going to explain that to you, but. That's two white people names. You know what I'm saying? We, they, they, they named that out to two white people. Acre Deza or something like that. I'm, I'm still doing my teaching, my learning and stuff. So I'm just, y'all learning just like me. So y'all, you know what I'm saying? But you can't tell me this ain't opening your eye. Oh, which is the mother of us all. But they always taught us what? All civilizations rise in Africa. Africa. Then when you go back and say we from Jerusalem, then they try to make Jerusalem, Israel the same thing as Africa. No. Oh, it's over there by that. No, it ain't. That's that's same way. It's like telling you America's the same thing as, as Costa Rica. Mm. That's not true. On the same land mass, that's all. but two different places. Israel two is different a nation places. of people. Right now, Israel is here in the United States. You're yeah. looking at Israel now. Yeah. I'm looking at Israel right now as I see you. That's right. I'm looking at a child of God. Give me Deuteronomy 7. And see, don't get it twisted. When he's saying that, he's saying that when you see another black person, you seeing Israel, you that mean you already where your people at. Sorry. Sorry about that. Got a phone call, you know what I'm saying? But hey, like I say, yeah, let's just continue on where we left off at. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. I'm going to show you what God say you are. Because they just got you mad black women. They got y'all in all kind of categories. But today it's time for you to step out of those categories and come back to these law statutes and commandments which your God gave you That's right. to yeah. follow. 
That's how you get out of this situation. My brother, you right there. That's how you get out of this situation. That's how we get off the bottom. That's how we get off these corners of these streets. That's how we stop selling drugs in our neighborhood. When we go back to the law, statutes, and commandments. Hear that? The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people. He said, thou art a holy people. Sister, you are out the Bible person. now. Brother, you are a holy person. It's coming out of the Bible. Why? You know why? Holy means separate. He separated you from every nation around him. Mm. If you're not on this chart, those are separate people. Separate people. He separated these people on this chart. Those are the children of Israel. Read. Thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Unto who? The Lord thy God. Unto the Lord thy God. He did. So you understand what he's telling you. It just ain't, this Bible ain't for everybody. This Bible ain't to make people feel good. This Bible ain't for y'all to get happy and joyful over, man. It ain't about that, man. It's about it's a history book of getting to know who you is, man. As a black person, man. As a so-called black person. We ain't, ain't even no such thing as that, man. Like I say, if you want to call somebody black, call them Africans that, man. Don't call, don't, we ain't black no more, man. We leaving that alone, man. We're going to be Hebrews, man. We is what we is, man. And we're going to go on like that, man. We're going to continue on c carrying ourselves that way, you feel me? But continue, I'm finna continue. Yes, I didn't do it. You know, most black people, we know we got a couple cats that we like. But he chose us. He chose us. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto him. A what? A special. Not from now, come on, man. If the Bible just told you God chose us to be special people, special people, that he ain't say a good person, he ain't say a nice person, he ain't say your cousin, your brother. He said he chose us to be his special people, man. You can't tell me that don't open your eyes to sun, man. You can't tell me that we so stiff-necked that we can't understand what's being told us. You know what I'm saying? These are the Bible words, you feel me? Well, yeah, I understand it. Y'all might be confused because y'all ain't here like that. Because, you know what I'm saying, you're in Babylon. And the Babylon is a land of confusion. So, you know, that's why things going to sound crazy to you as I'm, as I'm putting it out there on this, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, whatever. But it is what it is. Like I say, it's going to be some tough thinking, boy. This shit happen to how you're going crazy once you keep on listening to you. You know what I'm saying? You hit that like button, I start keep dropping this on here. And you're going to get stuck like I'm stuck. I ain't bull crap, and I'm telling you. And you're going to know who you is. You're going to be free. Special people unto himself. Hey, what? Hey, special people unto himself. Here go old Courtney. Himself. He said he chose y'all to be a special, special people. people. He chose us, the Negroes, the Hispanics, and Native Americans. He chose us to be a special people. Man, I don't know. I don't know how y'all feel, but when God chose me to be a special person above everybody else. Hmm. That should make you be like, oh, man. This is crazy. Oh. But the thing is, cop, that, that we don't like. You gotta hold on commandment. We don't like to be having that responsibility. And see, and with that said, see, y'all gotta understand, the white people carry their responsibility. Why you won't carry yours or who you is? You know what I'm saying? So it's time for us to, like, tighten up and stop with all this craziness. This is what, this is what the Bible's telling us, man. We got to get together. We got to stop being crazy and all this, man, and killing each other, man. But, it, you know, everybody that's Israel ain't going to be Israel, you feel me? They're going to let you know that, man. Y'all continue messing with me on this here, man. And, I, hey, whether y'all like it or y'all don't like it, it ain't going to make me no different. Cause I'm going to do this because this is what I'm sent to do, man. So it is what it is. This, hey. That responsibility is upholding God's law, statutes, and commandments. Yes, right. All right, Shalom. Let me get uh, let me get this for you right quick before you leave. Give me Deuteronomy 12 and 10 and 12. Before you go, I want to read this one last one, then you can go. I'm going to finish uh, exalting my sister here. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel. He said, and now, Israel. See, now you're knowing you're an Israelite, right? You're not African American. You're not black. You're Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Yes, right. Now you know this. Now you have a duty. This is the thing about it. We love it when we hear it. Oh, we special. Oh, we great. But then, when the responsibility of a great person comes, that's when the black man run off. That's when the black woman want to go back to being whatever she was doing. Mm -hmm. But see, it's a, it's a responsibility we have as a people. Read. What do the Lord thy God require of you? Asking, hey, what do the Lord thy God require of you, Israelites? You chosen people. You separated people. You holy people. What does God require of us? Read. But to give the 
Lord thy God, but to fear the Lord thy God. How do we fear the Lord thy God? Obeying his laws. Obeying mm -hmm. his laws. That's right. Doing what he asked us to do. Because we know the judgments. Read. Finish it out for him. To walk in all his ways. And to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Yeah, I understand said to love that. Him. that means the same thing. We need to be doing his, doing what he tell us to do in order to be saying that we love him. Read. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes which I command thee this day for thy good. He said, now, he said, this is what he told us to do. If we keep these laws, statutes, and commandments that he commanded us today, he said they for what? Our good. So why do we hate the commandments so much? When that's the reason we have so many problems. Yeah. Huh? And it's exactly. You're exactly right. And I'm explain something to y'all. I messed up on the whole thing anyway off the beginning. I ain't really supposed to be wearing my hat while the word is going. So I'm going to take that off. I'm not other world, so I'm my own people. So I can look like this and keep my shit going. You see what I'm saying? But I got to respect that and take that off. Because that, that, that flesh war after that spirit. This is the spirit. That's right. This holy word of God is the spirit. That's right. We don't even want to pick it up and read it. But we'd rather have a beer, a cigarette, a blunt. Yeah. We'd rather have those things before we pick up this Bible and start reading what's in this Bible. That's right. Because when you come to life, when you start reading what's in this Bible. And that's real. Now, I'm going to go to, uh, where you at, 46? Where you at? Seven and, seven and six. Go ahead, finish it out. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. He said above all people, people that are upon the face of the earth. earth. I didn't Come say on, that. There ain't nothing I'm bragging about. This is what God uh, called us to be. Real. Above. Read that again. Because I don't think some of them understood what they just said. Because we're not equal. Don't they teach us we all equal? Isn't that what they say? They say we all equal, but yet they live in Highland Park, we live in Oak Hill. Yeah. Yet they live in Highland Park, but we sleeping downtown. Yeah, How we equal? Ah. Come on, explain that. The man got the same better. How he get a big house and this man can't afford an apartment? Something wrong. We not equal. Read. Right. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. No, 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 no. Just in Jack's corner. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above just all in people. Above all people Above that are upon the face of the earth. He said, all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's everybody that upon the face of the earth. Sister, you are better than all people that are upon the face of the earth. That didn't come out of my mouth. That's what your God said. So that boy, you should have that standard as a female, as a woman of God, as a child of God, to do what the Most High said. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Because these are things we must do. I didn't have a beard on my face. Guess what? When I learned it was a commandment, guess what I did? I started growing it out. I couldn't bow my head off. Now I got to walk around with this bald spot in my head. But I don't mind. Because I'm a chosen people. Feel that's that's right. See, crazy, I'm going to huh? give you a commandment. We're going to see if you start doing these things. That's crazy, the huh? I say. Because there's a certain way our women are supposed to be out here. We can't just come out here any way we want to. We. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. He said the woman should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. One commandment you do have right. You have your head covered when these scriptures are coming out. Right. That is a commandment. So when you call that number, you come to our school and you start learning these things, you can have your head covered. You already got that down. You already ready for that. But let me show you what you need to make sure you start doing also. What do you got? Those pains, right? So you know it. So why not do it? And man, we went to the thrift store, and I'm telling you, they got dresses up there, five dollars, two dollars on some of them. Go get them. So. Throw some fringes on there. A friend is in the board of blue. Make anything. Look. See, that's another thing we're gonna. I got to get into too with the fringes. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna explain that to y'all right now until I start practicing it. So not practicing it, doing it, putting it in the way of my life. So. So I ain't gonna bring nothing to y'all that I ain't bringing to myself yet. So, like I say, 
French is too, man. Yeah, we supposed to wear that, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I ain't gonna try to explain that. You can do that. You don't have to run around like all the rest of these women run around here. You want that body beat for your husband. That's right. And your husband only. And I bet you any kind of, he gonna want you to be just showing it to him. And him only. That's right. Because that's who it's all for. It's not for everybody else. And I don't let you keep people out of sin. That's right. Because now I don't have to worry about listening over you. Why? Because you covered. That's right. Me. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. See, and a man shouldn't be running around here looking like Tyler Perry. Oh, uh, he was a real one, bro. That's crazy. what's the other little short dude name of? Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Mm -hmm. throwing I on these dresses, selling out. Now, mind you, that's that man precept of what he's saying. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't look at it like I'm saying something about these people or nothing. But if the truth fit, hey, man. Can't have feminine ways, man. It, it's told, man. You you know, you homosexuals and stuff. Y'all can't convert yourself back to regular Hebrews. I guess y'all are dead, too. So, my bad for the message. It wasn't me. It was the Bible said it, not me. To the world for a couple of dollars. You don't have to be like that. You can do what the most high God called you to do That's and right. called you to be. Yeah, that. You as a woman, you can set example for these other women out here. That's right. When you're coming around, you got on a dress. Then you begin to put the boy to blue. So when they ask you, you can start telling them, I'm a child of God. I'm a Hebrew Israelite. That's right. See, you're going to have to teach men, but you... See, that, that's, what I'm trying, that's what I'm trying to let y'all know, man, who y'all live. The man just told you who you is, man. It's your nationality, man. All my dark-skinned people that look like me, man, yeah, Hebrew. Yeah, Israelite. Just to tell you a Jew, you the real Jew. Jewish, Jewish mean Jewish. That mean they Jewish like people. You know what I'm saying? They Jewish. That mean they converted over to a, 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 um, a nationality. They converted over, and on and that's how they that's how they became these Caucasian Jewish people. It's, the name of it is not Jewish. It's Jew. But they they couldn't take among. They couldn't go against God, so they named themselves Jewish. They Jewish like people, you know what I'm saying? That's what they is. I, hey, like I said, it's in the Bible. I didn't say it. It was there. Just, just giving y'all my precept. Like I say, don't take my precept. Take the Bible. Don't take buddy precept. Take it. Take the Bible, man. You can teach other women, or you can go and show them what thus say the Lord. Because they ask you, you tell them, I obey these law, statutes, and commandment of the Most High God. That's right. And that's how you need to set yourself as a woman of the Most High God, a daughter of Zion. That's right. That is something special. And you need to be doing that. What are we at over here? Go ahead. For all that do so are an abomination. See, when we don't do these things that the Most High God called us to do, he said we're an abomination. When you're not wearing those, he's calling you right now. I mean, I ain't trying to call you that. The Bible's saying that. You in those pants, you are an abomination to him. That's right. That's right. So you need to go home, repent. That means change it. Going back and just change it. Hey, I don't wear the pants no more. That's right. It become natural to you. I didn't wear fringes either. That's right. Till I heard that we had the world. So when I couldn't, have, I couldn't find, I went and bought a sewing machine. That's right. And sold them on all my shirts. Oh, that's, that's what right. I'm into because right now. I'm God getting into. Say that's find that scripture in the Bible. That's a lie. That's what the church and your fake pastor say. Right. 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 It ain't in the Bible. Come as you are. See, you don't know the Bible. That's you right. just heard what another liar told you. That's now you take right. it from a liar, and now that's you gonna right. put it in your life because you want to be like a man. Because right. you don't want to follow the law, statutes, and commandments. Right. You are a liar, and the truth ain't in you. That's right. Read. Like I said, I ain't going to put y'all into too much or too much right now at one time. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do these in steps. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do this in steps. My bad. I'm going to retire and let Rand out. But like I said, we're going to do these in steps. We ain't going to do this all at once. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to flood y'all mind with everything. You know what I'm saying? And I'm learning. You know what I'm saying? I just want y'all to understand what I'm trying to tell y'all. You know what I'm saying? I ain't doing this to scare nobody or do none of that to change your, re your religion or your thinking or nothing. I just want you to have an understanding of who you are. And certain things ain't what you think it is. So 
I'm just trying to get you to open your mind so you could be free. But until then, you know what I'm saying? Until next time, man, to part two, man. It's your boy, M.I.A. Yogi, man. Hit that like button, subscribe. Y'all make sure y'all check out the description below. I'm going to give y'all the name of the site where I'm getting my learning from, you know what I'm saying, and where I'm getting my understanding from. So, getting the truth, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all check them out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to send other sites, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be flooded. And every time I get something new that's that is, that's appealing to me, that, that I mean, not appealing to me, that's that's accepting to me of what my God want me to go through and understand, I'm going to I'm I'm send that to y'all too, you know what I'm saying? So until next time, so y'all get out the light, y'all get out that darkness just like I'm trying to get out the darkness, you know what I'm saying? But I'm out the darkness because I know, I know my nationality. He said that's what's going to set me free. So I just ain't doing the commandments the way I'm supposed to, but I'm trying, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, man, Y'all stay tuned, man. It's coming, man. The light is going to shine on you one way or the other. And I'm trying to help y'all not go to where y'all want, don't want to go at. But you white people, <laughs> sorry to tell y'all, man, y'all don't, y'all might y'all might not want to continue listening to what I do, man. So when you see this on my page, man, you just probably need to skip on unless you want to know your truth about the history of, you know, what is what. You know what I'm saying? Cause all that going to be on there. So, like I say, man, until next time, man. Your boy, ah.